Hi there, this is Nicole Gunter. I am doing this presentation on behalf of my team, uh, Jillian, Paola, Catherine, and Kayla. Um, disclaimer real quick, um, I'm recovering from the flu. <coughs> so, I apologize for the coughing. Thank you, bear with me please. In the United States alone, 40% of U.S. companies report difficulty in filling positions based on a lack of STEM skills. Internationally, if the U.S. would, students would score at an international average on math and science tests, the U.S. would gain two and a half trillion in gross domestic product between now and 2050. That's amazing. America has seriously fallen behind in STEM-related jobs and skills. Change starts with our children. Currently, there are 14,000 children in the foster care system in Florida alone. And on any given day in, in America, over 450,000. About half of these foster children are girls. <coughs> foster initiative, foster girls, hashtag code tribe, and hashtag girl code. Foster children soon to leave the system with little to no guidance or support, much less initiative to advance themselves into working society. This came from Joan Irby, who I interviewed. She's from the Guardian and Light and Recruitment Coordinator uh, for the G First Judicial District of Florida. That covers the four westernmost counties in the panhandle of Florida. She said see, that she sees partnering with dress code as a direction, and that's what you miss when you don't have a family. So our target audiences for this will be, our primaries are mainly focused in North America, women aged 25 to 45, and those who actively shop at Nima Marcus. <coughs> Our secondary audience are girls between the age of 15 and 24, and girls enrolled in high school, and those who have high school diplomas or college degrees, foster children of, and, of the Guardian Light and Program. Those target audiences are twin, trendy, socially involved women interested in STEM education, middle to upper class, and high-end fashionistas. Now our objectives are for them to purchase these dress code bracelets for themselves, like I did, as a gift, like I did, or to donate, like I did. Foster children would love to receive a dress code product as a gift. Audience may engage with these foster care children as a volunteer with the Guardian Light and Program. Children uh, have better access to STEM resources when they're part of a fun program with this type of engagement. This also uh, affects young women in the career field of the tech industry. So our situation analysis was we found the weaknesses of dress code as a lack of social media presence. Uh, there is a presence, but that needs to be bolstered. A limited philanthropy area. Uh, we found that um, the Boys and Girls Club at the of Metro Chicago uh, was limiting uh, dress codes philanthropy and limited advertising. Uh, we felt the threat was, again, lack of social media presence, lack of marketing, and lack of press coverage. While there was some, there's, there's still not a lot. There's, there's more to be had. Uh, we found strengths with dress code as uh, promoting STEM in America, which obviously we need, uh, fashion-forward jewelry, and uniqueness. Uh, there's great opportunity to boost social media presence. <clears throat> expand philanthropy area, and work with universities and child programs. The problem, as we discussed, U.S. lacks strong STEM. The United States is now ranked 38th in the world, which is actually up from 29 the previous year. That's kind of sad. 
uh, STEM jobs are rising. It's projected that by 2020, which is in a year from now, will, there will be a 14% increase in the demand for STEM jobs in the US. And we need to stay competitive. Without a plan to increase STEM initiatives, the US will continue to lose its ability to attack STEM companies and employ STEM talent. Oops. Now with pertinent research, uh, you could do a leader audit and target 20 audience members to, just, to determine opinion leaders. Conducting this, the audit would identify uh, what these folks are paying attention to and potential partners. With an in-depth uh, review process, you can find out what their values, mission, and perspectives are. You could also find out what their philanthropic affiliations and their social responsibility beliefs are. Campaign, or a condom, sorry, conduct a pre-campaign poll and brand recognition survey to create a report of overall sentiment surrounding dress code before and after the campaign. Now the campaign objectives will be to increase brand awareness through social media, engagement, and brand loyalty, to increase interest and in change perspective for STEM, showing coding in a new light and how cool it is. Campaign objectives to inform audiences, the statistics and details of women in STEM, and lead in educational programs for young women, sales and department stores, online customer base, 4-H programs, and partnering with universities. Strategies and tactics are, of course, increase awareness, expand the audience, increase the awareness of the organization's missions and opportunities offered by dress code through email, social media posts, Facebook ads. To attract customers, increase annual sales, attract STEM aware individuals with appealing social media posts and advertisements, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, bolster relationships, increase participation, improve the community relationships and their land philanthropy throughout the community initiatives like Instagram posts and customer outreach. Now, awareness evaluation, evaluation metrics pursuing the following methods will allow the Girls Who Co campaign to assess, <coughs> excuse me, and monitor the influence of dress code as the campaign progresses and evaluate whether the brand met awareness objectives. So we do that by monitoring media coverage and uh, for exclusive partnerships between dress code and, and brands like Nordstrom's or Dillard's and other vendors, Google alerts set for dress code, adopt Bandwatch social listening tool to filter out generic brand and keywords, and conduct brand recognition and recall surveys. Engagement evaluation metrics would, inclu would include informing um, the one step towards molding customer behavior. So the following metrics will be implemented throughout the campaign. So you'd create a spreadsheet that documents all those followers, the impressions and likes and comments for Tech Tuesday posts, weekly dress code impact posts. Create an influencer spreadsheet to track followers, traffic data, impressions, clicks, likes, and all that. Comments for posts. Utilize Hootsuite to track the mentions on social media throughout the campaign and three months after campaign wrap up. Report conversation rates, or I'm sorry, conversion rates, click through rates, bounce rates, and list growth for all emails sent during the campaign. Evaluate the effectiveness of the call to actions being sent out through those emails. Reporting list growth rates and bounce rates will allow dress code to determine the validity and effectiveness of those emails. Develop report on Google Analytics for leading social media channels to pinpoint where key dress code audiences are coming from. <coughs> so recently, Florida passed a law called Fostering Futures for 14 and Up. And these are kids who are considered in the aging out stage of foster care. This program is an attempt to aid the children who have no family to help guide them 
on to the next stage of their lives. So now Mark Wahlberg uh, recently starred in a movie called Instant Family. It's in theaters now. This is a comedic and heartwarming portrayal of a couple who decides to start a family. They're so inspired to pursue the adoption through the foster care system. They feel, they feel like this wonderful altruistic couple until they suddenly have three wild kids in their home. Both have different ideals and expectations of what a family is. Now they must learn to love and parent children who have no interest in being parented. Sadly, this is in part reality. When Joan Irby was interviewed for this campaign, she explained that foster children soon leave the system with little to no guidance or support, much less an initiative to advance themselves into working society. She sees partnering with dress code as direction for those children. And that's what you miss when you don't have a family. Foster initiative to foster kids. Co hashtag code tribe is a shared sense of social responsibility and purpose. When we envision dress code building their brand through social media, mirroring the effectiveness, the Tom's shoe brand, who had major social media success, will lead uh, into the National STEM and STEAM Day on November 8th. Dress Co. will partner with universities across the country during their STEM education outreach programs in accompaniment with 4-H and Guardian Lightum to roll out an ongoing outreach program to inspire kids to explore and pursue their interests in STEM. We feel this will not only increase brand awareness and business, but will also do goodwill with intent to change the direction of America and its use <coughs> excuse me, in the science and technology fields. The purpose is meant to inspire kids to explore and pursue their interests in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Make a difference in a child, in a state, in a country, in the world. Foster initiative to foster kids. We believe dress code plus guardian litem equals code the world. Thank you.